Hello everyone, today we have new video review and as you can see this time we are going to check fresh release from Special Hobby. It is molded in 172nd scale and this time it's a dual pack and book kit. So you can see both kits and also book on the box art. It copies the AJ37 Vegan but also SK37 that's a double seater training version of this famous aircraft. Both are molded in 172nd scale, so it means it's a new plastic which was presented in May and now we have a commercial sample, so it means you will get exactly the same uh, contents as what you will see here in this video. And as usual it is already available in special hobby website, so you can order it directly from them. Uh, first of all, box is quite big, as you can see it barely fits into our uh, video frame, but here you can see the whole box. We have those two aircraft shown on the box art, box is, uh, book is also shown here, and box itself is quite heavy. Then here on the side you can see, um, let's say, short list of what is included inside, so one AJ37 kit, one SK37 kit, one copy of the uh, photographic publication on the vegan, and of course plastic with assembly manuals, decals, maybe also P, who knows. Here on the other side we can see some safety devices and also information about the manufacturer and also QR code for the kit info page. This box is a top loaded box, so let's open it. And here is what we have inside, so it's quite tight packaging I would say. But as you can see everything is more or less fixed in place and heavy book is fixed with special cardboard so it won't be fine around the box and that's really cool because some manufacturers don't do this and as a result you get really ugly um, let's say thing with plastic parts. So we put aside this, we also put aside assembly manuals I would like to start with plastic spruce because this is a completely new tooled plastic uh, before this aircraft was molded by the same company but in 148 scale and as you remember they promised that there will be small scale release and now we have it. So first of all I would like to start with this clear plastic sprue which is packed into the separate plastic bag. Such design, such packaging design should help you avoid any possible damage like scratches or other issues to such tender ports. And let's zoom in and you will see those parts closer. So as you can see here of course we get the canopy parts and as far as I can understand we have here parts for the both versions and the only thing it will depend is which fuselage option you choose but as you can see molding quality is really nice. I'm not sure about masks, we will have to check the assembly manual but again the molding quality is quite impressive and you will be able to replicate the open cockpit with these parts so no worries it should be more than enough in this scale. Next we have uh, first grey plastic sprue. This one is dedicated to fuselage ports and also some external elements. So as you can see we have the top fuselage panel. Actually it mimics what we saw in 148 scale kit so some of you might be let's say familiar with this if they build the bigger browser. And now let's zoom in and do the zoom section so that you can see all those parts in detail.
So as you can see, parts are molded on thin attachment points, so I guess there won't be any problem with this. And we can continue to the next plastic sprue. This one is dedicated to the double seater version. As you can see, it has only one plastic part. That's actually the top fuselage section. I will try to zoom in as close as possible so that you can see what we have here. So external detailing is absolutely the same as what we saw on the previous frame. And also inside we have some guiding elements for internal elements. So I guess they will be handy if you will be installing various parts. Next we have another grey plastic sprue. This one is more concerned with the main body section and also with lower um, area of the nose section. So as you can see it is molded as a separate panel as well. Here we have those which are used in the rear section and here we have the landing gear OX, the pylons for the wings and external detailing here is the same as what we saw on the fuselage parts so it means we get recessed panel lines, riveting and quite nice uh, thin attachment points which should be easy to separate. Now let's zoom in and do the zoom mode. As you can notice on those parts we have guiding pins so it will be easier to work with them. And next we have this plastic sprue which is dedicated to air intake this air ducts, also parts of the engine nozzle. Here we have the cockpit bases, now external fuel tanks, etc. etc. So let's zoom in and check those closer. Note that while those fuel tank halves, they have the guiding pins, those air ducts, they do not have any guiding elements, so you will have to be careful while working with them, otherwise you might have uh, wrong uh, parts alignment. Now we have not so great thing in this kit, it's this uh, nose cone, which should be glued out of two halves. That's quite strange to see because I would rather prefer to have a one-piece nose cone in a 2019 kit, but we have what we have, so you you have to work with this. There is no way around it. Maybe there will be some resin aftermarket set which will actually replace this, but now we have only two halves with guiding pins inside, so be ready for such small surprise. Next we have sprue with various minor elements. 
here you find not only the external elements, for example, uh, here we have various vending gear panels, but also vending gear views, uh, pilot seats, dashboards, and some other internal features which will be copied with these minor parts. So let's zoom in and check everything closer. Okay, and next we have pink parts left, so here is the first one. As you can see, parts division should be quite typical, so we have two top halves and one bottom, it will be on the next sprue. We also have the separately molded tail fin and separately molded ailerons and flaps, I guess. Also here, note the frontal section of the air intakes. And external detailing here is the same as what we saw on the fuselage, that means recessed panel lines and riveting again. Inside we have wheel wells pre-molded, but let's zoom in and do the zoom mode so that you can see it with your own eyes. Note that on the tail fin we have pitot tube pre-molded, so you will have to be careful with this. And of course wheel wells, they look quite good, but I think you can also add some wiring there or some other fine detailing if you would like to. Next we have last grey plastic sprue, here it is. As you can see this one is dedicated to the lower wing half. We also have here parts for the uh, tail surfaces and some external panels for the vending gear legs. By the way, here you can see the parts which should be added to the vending gear legs as well. Now let's zoom in and take a closer look at those parts.
as you can see, the wing gauges are pre-molded with the lower wing half, so it might be easier to get the proper fitment of those parts together. You won't have to work on those seams between top and bottom half. Also, here we have some push rod marks, so keep it in mind and you will have to work around this somehow. And now I just would like to check the what is in the second plastic bag, because as far as I can guess, we have absolutely identical plastic sprues. So here is the second plastic bag. And as I said, we get the same set of plastic parts, so I guess there is no need to open it. But what we should open is this small decal sheet, so just give me a second. It is attached to the special cardboard, so it won't be flying around the box as well. And it is printed in cartograph, so all necessary symbols fitted here. And as you can see, we have huge amount of various stencils. Um, I don't see, well, actually here, I guess we have some parts, uh, decals for the cockpit, but that's pretty much all, no seat belts, no huge dashboard decals. And printing quality looks good. I hope those decals will be easy to work with. Let's zoom in and take a closer look. Okay, and next we have several brochures which are included into this kit. So first of all, this is a brochure about the book. So as you can see, it is advertisement for this photo book, which might be handy if you would like to have a more detailed aircraft. And from the other side, we can see other books which are written uh, by this author. Next, we have assembly manuals. So they are printed on two separate brochures. I would like to start with the simple AJ37 vegan, so it means the single seater. As you can see, it is printed in form of this large brochure. Here you can see comparison with my hand. We have short history note in English and Czech. Next is a parts map. And actually what I would like to do is to see if we use the same parts for both aircraft, so it means, yes, I mean here you can see the parts map for the double seater and it is absolutely identical, so there is no doubt anymore. Okay, so what do we have here? Uh, what we can see obviously one of the canopy parts won't be used because it's a single seater, one of the cockpit base, uh, one of the pilot seat, it means mainly those parts which will be needed for the double seater. So here we have also the paints chart which is given in Gunzi designations. Assembly process starts with pilot seat, we continue with cockpit base, uh, dashboard here, side panels, install all this stuff um, into the fuselage. Well, actually the pilot seat is getting installed into the cockpit top. Here we have the air intake ducts, which should be combined together and then closed with fuselage halves. Here we continue with the tail section, so as you can see you will have to assemble the uh, engine nozzle and pre-paint it, because then it will be quite difficult to paint those parts, then you combine those uh, fuselage section with wing parts, and as you remember we have the front edge molded on the lower half, so it means you will get less of the connection seams. Then we connect the frontal section with tail section. Here we install the minor part for those wing fine detailing elements. Here you can see the nose cone, so as you remember it should be assembled out of two halves. So again, be ready for this. Well, at least the air intakes frontal sections are molded as a one piece part, so at least here we won't have any seams visible seams which will have to be corrected. Here we work on the pylons which should be attached on the aircraft uh, here as well. Here you install the tail fin 
and also various minor elements in the tail area. Here you can see the installation of the nose landing gear rack with landing gear doors. Next we continue with main landing gear racks. As you remember each one will have two wheels installed on it. And next we continue with front canards. Here we work on the air brakes. You can replicate them in open or closed position. As you remember inside there were some uh, small push marks so you might want to fill them in. Here we have also retracted panel. I'm not sure what was that so if you can correct me. Ah, here it is written it's ROM air turbine so rod. Uh, here you can see also the canopy powered installation so of course you can build it in open or closed. We have three camouflages as you can see both come, all three come from Sweden. Here we have resin accessories, so you can replicate uh, wheels with resin, air brakes, thrust reverser, ejection seat, this air turbine and a rocket pod. And also there are figurines, we already have this set available uh, for the review, so it will be reviewed in this separate video. I would recommend to check it because it's quite an interesting addition to the small vegan aircraft. Here we have the marking guide for these camouflages which are included. Of course also stenciling guide and some other kits in 170 second scale from the same brand and some of them were reviewed in our YouTube channel so I would recommend to check it and of course Mirage it's also one of their main kits in 170 second scale quite nice and also uh, it features full um, a range of resin accessories available so you can detail it even more than what is given in the box. Next we have another assembly manual. This one is dedicated to the double seater. Well basically layout is absolutely the same but what I would like to see is what is different um, except of assembly of two pilot seats obviously. Here I know that you will have to fill something and also drill several holes. And of course we use the different top fuselage section. Next we continue work on the engine nozzle, air intakes. Um, here we work on the pylons, landing gear. It is quite interesting that here you have to remove the attachments. So don't forget to cut them off. Here we install the external fuel tank and in total you will have to perform 43 steps in order to have aircraft ready. Again we have three marking options, again the same accessories apply to double seater as well. And of course in the end we have list of other 170 second scale kits which might be handy. Okay. But that's not all because we also have the special bonuses you remember. That's a photo book about the vegan. Now I would like to remove it out of the box, so just give me a second. I'm not sure how it is fixed in place. I guess there is some glue or something like this. Okay, so there was a glue and I would like to carefully open it so that we won't damage anything. Okay, so it is a soft cover book, which is... Uh, whole book is dedicated to the vegan of course and you will get here quite interesting reference photos about this aircraft so here you can see it it comes from HMH publications here we have a short look at what is printed inside so as you can see not only the photos but also quite extensive text well at least we have some explanations what is here or there so that you understand how to replicate it. Also note that we have some detail shots which might be useful for fine detailing of your model even in 170 second scale you can copy this and then you will get a more realistic appearance. By the way here you can see this rod in retracted position. Of course the famous wings here described why it was decided to use such um, scheme. Here you can see the cockpit, also the Wigan 4.2, again Wigan 4.2, single-seater, 
quite extensive chapter about the landing gear because there were several versions of the landing gear. Here you can see quite nice photo of the two aircraft together. And detail shots of access panels, engine, and again aircraft in air. So in total there are 82 pages. Here you can see also some other books from the same publishing house. And that's pretty much all. So quite nice bonus for those who like to uh, read something about the models they built. So this is quite worth the addition in my opinion. Um, as I said, this kit is already available for purchase on Special Hobby website. Of course, I would be happy to hear your opinion about this kit here in the comment section below. If you like this video, don't forget to press the like button. And also, if you don't want to miss any new video review, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Because in that case, you will get the notifications about fresh videos. And I will see you in the next video review as usual. Bye.